Hi, back with me Gia Wulandari in Algorithm Strategy class. So here in this video, we will continue our discussion about branch and bound. This is the second part of branch and bound video. So in the first video, you can watch the talk about general description and also its example for job assignment problem. And in this video, we will talk about the use of branch and bound to solve a discrete knapsack problem. Okay, let us uh, get started. So you should familiar already with a discrete knapsack problem. So basically, we are given um, an objects and also a knapsack. And the knapsack has a maximum capacity of k, let's say, and every object i uh, we have has weight property wi and also profit property pi and each object cannot be divided that's why we called it discrete knapsack or zero one knapsack and we want to know which object should we put in the knapsack so that we obtain the maximum profit and of course we do, do not exceed the maximum capacity of the knapsack and the solution can be represented as a tuple like this where x1 is uh, one if object one is put in the knapsack or zero if it is not put in the knapsack so how can we build or construct a state space tree for this problem sorry for zero one assign a knapsack problem so let us consider a discrete knapsack problem with an object and maximum capacity of k and uh, where the solution of the problem is written like this uh, like we described before in the previous slide and here we can construct the partial solution by determining the value of x1 next the value of x2 and so on until finally we have the value of xn which means the level in this state space tree represent the order of items we check so level one will determine whether x1 is zero or one and then level two will be uh, the space for determining whether x2 is zero or one and so on other than knowing how to construct a state space tree for branch and bound we also need a way to compute a bound for this problem so this quick knapsack problem is a problem to maximize the total profit so it is a maximization problem which means here we need to compute an upper bound upper bound for each partial solution so again we know that we can represent the solution for this problem as a tuple x1 to xn and here uh, for knapsack recall in greedy we know a property called density let's say density is d so density of item i is the profit of item i uh, divided by the weight of item i what does it mean it means the value of an item per weight so for each weight unit of the item we can obtain the profit of di then the maximum profit we can obtain for the discrete knapsack problem cannot be more than k times maximum of d1 until the end right because the maximum density we have is d let's say then the maximum profit we can have for the problem will be where we put the item with maximum profit to the knapsack and make the knapsack full of it so the maximum profit we can obtain cannot be more than this and since we always need to know the maximum density from the items we have or we haven't checked yet then we should sort the items based on their density in descending order so that the first item density of the first item is 
not less than the density of the second item and so on until the last item. So the lower bound for each partial solution of this, so for example, we already determine what is the value of xi for i equals to 1 to k, but not for the rest, then uh, we already know the total profit we have so far until the case item. And then for the rest one, we can check the remaining capacity we have. And then we multiply it with the largest density we have on the remaining items. And because we have already have designed, uh, we have sorted the items based on the largest density first, then the next item will have the largest density. So that's why we multiply it with the density of the next item. Let's get started with the example. So for example, we have four objects. Uh, a, B, C, and D with, and a knapsack with maximum capacity of 10. So the first step, the initial step here, we need to sort the object based on their density. So here we have density of 4 and then density of 6, 10, and 5. Next we sort them based on the density. So the first one will be item C. The next one will be item B, uh, the next one will be item D, and the final one will be item A, like this. Okay, so we have sorted the items, and we start with the initial node where we haven't uh, decided anything on the problem. So the solution has not contained anything. So it means we have not chosen any objects. Uh, which means that the total weight we have up until now is zero and the total profit we have up until now is also zero and upper bound and it's upper bound then the remaining capacity we have which is 10 k minus w which is 10 minus zero which is equals to 10 we multiply it with the density of the next item. So the next item will be uh, C here, which has the largest density. So we multiply it with 10, which is equal to 100. So we have 100, which is the only leaf we have so far. So we check the children of the node. And the children will be either we choose the first item or not. Then if we choose the first item, then our weight will be 4, the total weight we have so far, and the total profit we have so far will be 40. And the upper bound will be 40 here the total profit we have so far because we already know that the solution must contain the first item which uh, give us the profit of 40 plus we still have six capacity remaining which is 10 minus 4 and it can be uh, filled with items that has density no more than six okay there's no other items that has density more than six so with times the remaining uh, capacity with six so it is equal to 76 it is the same for the next option uh, the total weight we have so far is zero and the total profit we have so far is zero which means at this point we don't have any profit yet but we still have 10 capacity remaining which means uh, the 10 capacity remaining can be filled with items with density no more than six so we 
add it, uh, multiply it with 6 so that we have 60 as the upper bound so here uh, this problem is maximization problem and we have upper bound for two leaves we have here so we need to compare which one give us the best result and because it is maximization problem the best result means the biggest upper bound we have so the biggest one is 76 so we check the next children uh, of the node so <clears throat> for the second level we can check whether the second uh, item is chosen or not so if it is chosen then we will have weight of 11 which is larger than the ca maximum capacity so it is not feasible and for the next option uh, we uh, check the case where the second item is not chosen so here we will still have the total weight of 4 and the total profit of 40 and the upper bound will be 40 which is the profit we have so far plus the remaining capacity we have which is 6 uh, multiplied by the largest density we have which is 5 so 70 is the upper bound we have here and for the two active leaves we have 60 and 70 we check the largest we choose the largest upper bound which is 70 so we check its children next so we check the third item whether we uh, choose it or not and check the total weight total profit we can have and also the upper bound which is the total profit we already have plus the remaining capacity which can be filled by the item uh, that has density no more than four here which is mean which means the upper bound is 69 and for the next option here again we have total weight of four and total profit of 40 and the upper bound will be total profit we have so far plus the possibility to fill up the remaining capacity with the largest density we have uh, up to this point so the remaining capacity is six and the largest density we have is four so the upper bound is 64 again we check from all active leaves which one gives us the better upper bound which is 69 so we check uh, its children which leads us to a final solution 1011 and 1010 so we check the weight and the total profit the first one give us a non-feasible solution and the next one give us a total profit of 65 and if we see the other leaves we have here 60 and 64 is not better than 65 it means that even if we continue this node, then the final solution will not give us better result than 60. And for this one, even if we continue this uh, partial solution, then the final solution will not be larger than 64, which means 65 must be the largest profit we can have, which is given by choosing object C and also object D to obtain the total profit of 65. Okay, that's all for this quick knapsack problem. For the, for the next video, we will talk about the branch and bound strategy for traveling salesperson problem. Okay, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.